Alright, so I believe that the Series X is going to be for people who are not really into single player games. That's because Microsoft has very few solid single player titles. Um, games like The Gung is pretty dog water to be honest with you. However, PlayStation's exclusive lineup is god tier. They have games like Spider-Man, Demon's Souls, uh, Ratchet and Clank's Rift Apart, Tokyo Drift, and oh my god bro, these games look incredible. Like the colors are really bright and vibrant, and the game mechanics that they use for some of these games are so fucking cool. Like Spider-Man, web slinging and stuff like that. We don't have that on the Xbox, you know, we don't have that on the Microsoft side yet. Although you have to keep in mind that these games are going to set you back 70 to 80 dollars. So if you're someone who's just looking to be immersed in a game with a compelling story and you just you just want to play alone, then I believe that the PlayStation is going to be the better console for you. And yeah. Alright, next up, I believe that the Xbox is going to be for people who are in a really tight budget, uh, mainly students. So if you're running really short on funds, you know, you got student loans to pay, you're working a part-time job at Subway and you are just piling in debt, but you want that sweet next generation 4K gaming console to play. Ironically, I believe that the Xbox Series X is going to be the better console for you if you play games on your Xbox a lot. Now that is only because of Game Pass. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again, I still do believe that the Xbox Game Pass is one of the best value in the history of gaming. So for 20 bucks a month, I get access to Xbox Live Gold, which you're probably going to pay for anyways if you want to play online multiplayer. And on top of that, I get access to over hundreds of really solid games on Xbox Game Pass. And we do have access to some very, very solid titles like Forza Horizon, Battlefield, FIFA, Rainbow Six Siege, Sea of Thieves, Halo. Like, I could go on and on about this for a while, but I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long, so I'm going to move on to my third point, and that is going to be picky gamers. So if you're someone who gets bored of who's who... who so if you're someone who gets bored of video games really easily and you're often finding yourself selling video games for money to buy other games or you just cannot play one game for more than an hour if that is you then you have to look no further because you have hundreds of games at your disposal with game pass personally i've downloaded over 10 games on my game pass and 8 out of 10 of those games are just really dead to me even though they got really high ratings in ign and stuff like that i just couldn't be bothered to play those games so I would consider myself a very picky gamer. So picking up an Xbox was the best decision I made for my gaming life. Alright, so there is one more point I have to make. Um, that's going, going to be Xbox Remote Play. That allows you to play games on your console through your phone or your tablet or laptop without actually being there. Like your console could be off and you could be using a different Wi-Fi connection and still play those games. I haven't really played Remote Play enough to really share my thoughts about that. But I've had a pretty good time with, with Remote Play so far. And yeah, that's maybe just one more point you might want to consider. Alright, so that's all I have for you for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you are a PlayStation or an Xbox fan. Or maybe if you're a Nintendo fan, you know, never really made Nintendo Switch videos for a while. Probably gonna do that real soon. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.